say hi, Whitney. Hello, everyone. So, um, Whitney and I are having this little couch talk, except for she's on her couch across the country and I'm in my office chair across the country. And we wanted to uh, visit a little bit with you guys about a very special retreat that we are having. And so we are combining Whitney's amazing super soul flow mojo with my intuitive painting at mojo at a retreat at my house in Texas. And since everything is bigger in Texas, we decided that we would go with the theme of playing big and being big and um, really opening up into expanding into the full wingspan that we're supposed to live with because we're not meant to be small. Ego tries to keep us small and spirit wants us to play and feel big. And so that's what we are doing. Uh, in Texas on April 15th through 19th. Is that our dates? That is it. Perfect. So, um, yeah, so uh, I'll, I'll, Whitney, why did, what's, tell me what painting big means to you. What, yeah, tell me what painting big means to you. So, what happens with the canvas when you approach art making as uh, a spiritual journey, as a conversation with your highest self? The canvas becomes a mirror. It becomes a portal to aligning with a more fuller, authentic, um, fully expressive version of yourself. And so, like you mentioned, you know, our left brain, logical mind, ego is literally programmed to resist any and all change in your life. And what Allison and I know for sure is that right now. All of us are really being called to up-level, up-level our game, bring more of ourself to our businesses, to our relationships. And in the process of that, it is chipping away at these old limiting beliefs. It is recreating uh, the reality that you are painting in your mind so that it can come to fruition in the art that is your life. And when you paint big, you are inviting in anything that is keeping you from your bigness. So in other words, mm -hmm. when we start to paint on these huge canvases, if it's overwhelm that can keep you small or keep you from you know, fully saying yes or putting yourself in the ring for uh, you know, whatever opportunity, whatever it is that's blocking you from your bigness um, will come up on the canvas. And what is so fun about it is that just in the process of, you know, the painting of that large canvas, you will literally physiologically um, kind of reprogram how you do things, how you step into the world. And um, what Allison is a master at, um, and I've been in her presence painting and otherwise, and she is all about really calling you out on um, the small talk and holding up a mirror so you can see all of the opportunities that you have available to you when you accept how big you can be. So weaving those two processes together um, and the intuition and the symbolism that comes up uh, is going to be magical. It's going to be an incredible conversation um, with all of us, but the, the kind of the energy leading the conversation is going to come through the canvas from your higher self. So it's going to let you know exactly what your next steps are and how you can serve the greater good that much more. So that's what I think we're most excited about. I love it. I I know that um, I didn't I didn't realize this would happen. So I was running my business, and when I started painting, I just started painting just to express, and I didn't realize how parallel my business was to the canvas and when I started painting I I noticed that I was wanting larger and larger canvases because like you can paint like this or you can paint like this and and when I started painting like this my my, my business and my pri my prices did this <laughs> and I that's one of the reasons why I really want to do this especially in the art and the spiritual people that are doing art and spiritual work and so I think a lot of times there's this limiting belief and this misbelief that if we're not doing corporate work or that if we're not 
doing traditional online model or, or sales coaching that we can't, that somehow money and spirituality don't fit together or the, the, the BS of the starving artist. And I know that Whitney and I talked about doing this to really call out and call forward, not like call you out like you're in trouble, but like say, hey, you, the world needs you. And by the way, it's totally legitimate for you to earn a living. You do not have, I'm, I'm really big on this. And, and I left the corporate world where it was easy to get paid a lot of money. And then I went on my own and I shrunk back down. And since then, I've been able to create a living and a coaching practice and an art practice that that sustains my life in a really nice and yummy way and it's getting bigger and bigger and it's the money is just a portal to do good for other people to so it's not about all the greed you know greediness and what I can get however the bigger I go and the more that I create financially the more good I can give back into the world and so I really want coaches and spiritual people and artists to to step into investing in themselves, to charging higher rates. There's nothing wrong with charging rates that are really easy for a lot of people, but I, that's, that's so easy for a lot of people, and a lot of us are afraid, well, I'm not worth it or I can't do it. And so that's another thing I want to bring is the business aspect of this retreat. Yes, we're going to have a blast. We're going to be our fun, spiritual, soulful, artistic selves, but we're also really want to look at... Um, at, at your business or your practice or or something that is very left brain in your life and what does it look like to expand that beyond what you think is possible and so that's one of the things I'm really excited about and you know when I first you can, they're all around me but I have a bunch of really large canvases around me and seeing that blank canvas it felt impossible and and now to me that's the only way I know how to paint I, I can't paint small and so that's what I'm wanting to invite people to especially the spirit and artist people who feel like there's no place for financial prosperity and abundance or global recognition or I know you want to be on stage um, with some of you know like Wayne Dyer and Marianne Williamson and like I, I would love that stuff too and why do we play small and um, that analogy of life is our canvas and so to go where I started, which was I didn't realize that the canvas would metaphor my business, that they would be so intertwined. And what painting, and, and mind you guys, 2013, June of 2013 was the first time I picked up a paintbrush since I was a little kid, right? Like this is, it's not a question of skill, it's a question of willingness. And when you're willing and go to the canvas, you realize you have skill. <laughs> I promise you, whoever you are, you have skill. And Whitney and I are there to support you with that. But the canvas, like, made it put me in control. Instead of pointing the finger at the economy or what people will or won't pay, I'm in control of my own canvas. And that was a huge. So maybe you want to speak to some about how your life or your business is the canvas and, and how that plays out. Exactly. So if we told you all, which we could do this, we could have a retreat where we say we're going to sit in circles and we've got handouts and business plans and marketing forms and we're going to you know dig into your business and we're going to help you grow your business. We could do that, okay? Um, and you would work on these, you know, pieces of paper and we would talk and then you would go out into the art that is your life and your business and create the change. What we're saying is we're going to get into the practical side of growing and expanding your business but instead of waiting to take action when you meet, you're going to take action during the retreat. And just what Allison's saying, when you go to paint on this big canvas, everything that might have waited until you were back home to get you stuck is going to show up while we're at the retreat. And Allison and I are going to be able to coach you through that big canvas. And by the time you get to the end of the retreat and you're leaving with this huge painting that you absolutely love, you have done the work already. You've created kind of this you know, cellular reorganization and you've already faced the voices that tell you you're not 
you know, wise enough, or your your voice is too high, or you don't have enough, you know, official degrees and training, or there are so many other people doing this, why do I need to do that? All of that will come up on the canvas. The canvas gives you the experience, like the putting the, you know, where the rubber meets the road kind of thing. We're going to do that at the retreat. So it's not just planning and then go do it. It's like it's the planning but woven into the action that is painting on the canvas. And so the canvas literally is the metaphor. It's the vehicle. It's the modality. It's the portal. Um, and it will change you. The canvas will change you. And, and that's what we're all so excited about. And it's stepping away from the story that we've been telling ourselves forever as a culture that art is about product. You know, that art making is for people who are good at it and talented and whose grandmother was an artist and who can sell it in a gallery. No, what we're talking about is you are all life artists. We are all meant to live as artists. It's taking responsibility for the role we play in creating our lives. And the self-talk that's going on in your head and the images that you're picturing around your business are absolutely creating your reality. And we want to help you reprogram all of that um, kind of the, uh, what's the proportion, right? It's like we want to expand the proportions that you're thinking and really tap you into the fact that you create your reality. And that's what Super Soul Flow is all about. It's aligning with the statement, I am the sole creator of my experience. And you can choose to use things like the economy and you know, your lack of training or, you know, experience or whatever as an excuse to why you're not earning as much money as you want in your creative, spiritual, life coaching business. Or you can consciously create exactly what you want in your life and that will happen just as easily as focusing on the negative. And um, Allison and I have both been living that, you know, in parallel um, but slightly different ways. And I've had to redefine my whole reality the last two and a half years since my divorce where it's like now I have to make the money from this business where I didn't used to have to. And, um, and you know when I raise my prices and I've just raised them again nobody even says anything. Like they just pay. They click and pay. I was the only one holding myself back. And the reality is is that energy um, and money are one and the same thing. So as people who are interested in helping uh, the human race, our human family, expand and evolve and live from a place of love and compassion and change the stories that have us in, you know, feast or famine and wars and, you know, conflict. Um, we need the money. We need the money energy to be able to influence and create change in the society. That's when, that's when people will listen. So there is absolutely nothing wrong with wanting to help people and make money. Um, it's a creative force, and we can do it more powerfully and more effectively when we're earning the income we need. And you know what? You can scholarship, you can two for one, you can you know, send out specials. I um, just recently coached a client through this same talk. Like, I want to keep it accessible for everybody. Well, keep it accessible. Just add the the more expensive VIP or you know there are all kinds of different ways where you can still serve anyone you want to serve and serve yourself in your mission and create the energy that you need to really affect you know a larger audience so we are going to just like we are you know all that plain small and um, feeling guilty about you know earning too much or how to ask how to feel good about the value you're providing we're going to um, we're just going to rock that out of the ballpark in Texas so excited I love that story that you share with that client and I want to share kind of a slightly different perspective and I've been speaking about and you and I have talked like you you are your um, model of business and what you're doing you're wanting a really wide umbrella of reach and I um, don't want to work that hard <laughs> Not that yours is going to be hard work, and uh, you you have a lot of energy, and you're extroverted, and you love to go and be, and I, I watch you bouncing and traveling all over the world, and I'm a little bit more of a homebody, and I tend to work with a smaller number of people 
at a much larger price. And they're both totally valid choices. And it was interesting because um, I've been talking with some clients about this that they're, and I do some programs that are accessible to most, most people, but I do some programs that are not accessible to a lot of people. So recently I had a um, $9,000 program, a group program. And it was so funny because I was sending out an email to people about uh, an elite coaching program that I was creating for seven people. And someone emailed me back and they said, I love the work that you do. It's spiritual. It's wonderful. But I'm offended at the prices you charge. Mm -hmm. And I, it stung a little bit, right? It stung, and, and then all of a sudden I checked in with spirit and my spirit said, Allison, she's not your people. Like I'm not supposed to be accessible to her. And not 10, 15 minutes later, out of the blue, one of when I first did the very first program uh, that was at that price range, like it scared me to death. I thought no way people would pay nine thousand dollars for seven months of coaching. My phone rang, and it was this woman named Diane. And Diane just out of the blue says, "I just wanted to call and tell you that was the best nine thousand dollars I ever spent. This is what's happened in my life. I've got a new husband. I just had my baby. I just secured an eighty thousand dollar contract for six months. I just wanted to tell you that I was so happy I spent that money." with you and it, I felt like the angels were with me because I had you know could have really hurt to, to hear that I was leaving people out or that whatever she said but in the next minute somebody had actually spent that money said that investment not in me there nobody's making an investment in you and me and and we acknowledge that the price of this retreat we bumped it up on purpose we are wanting it's eighteen hundred dollars for five days it's not you know, a, a 195 one day thing. It's, it's a substantial, those are wonderful too. And we're calling out something greater. We're calling out more of an investment. We're calling out more time. We're going deeper. You're getting two major, major successful coaches, not just one. Um, you're getting a pool <laughs> and a pool boy. <laughs> Um, I don't know if we'll have a pool boy yet, but well, you're getting, you know, we're, it's going to be really nice and it's going to have a lot of yumminess to it too. And it's never meant to exclude anybody, but it is meant to include those. It's like, it's like a line, drawing a line in the sand that says, are you ready? And then the other thing you know is that the caliber of people you're hanging out with. So that's the other value is we've capped this off at 11 people. So with you and me, that's 13 total. So we've capped it off at 11 so that everybody gets private time with Whitney and I. Everybody gets downtime. Like I'm an, I need a nap there, so that there's plenty of time, so that there's plenty of, of connection. And the other people that you'll be hanging out with will blow your socks off. I, the ones who've already registered, like, I would pay $1,800 to spend that money with any one of them and for us to all be in the same place. And so that, that level of just a, a flip side of, you know, when we charge more, we're creating a filter and we're inviting people. We're not saying nobody's included, but we're saying, I want to invite you to step up to this and see what it does for you. There's something that happens, and I've done this myself. Um, I mean, $1,800 doesn't even seem like a lot of money anymore. Um, you can make that back so quickly and easily. Um, but when you invest an amount of money that, that feels like it's a stretch for you, what do you mm -hmm. do when you, you know, are in that experience? When you spend the money on this retreat and you are there, you are 100% there. You are going to get the most out of it, absolutely possible. You are going to go back to your homes and the canvas that is your life at home and your business and you are going to put these things into practice. You are going to raise your prices. You are going to value what you do more. All of that is a ripple effect of investing in you and your dreams and what gets you so fired up. There is no way, and I've learned this several times the last couple of years, there is no way I am going to misspend money investing in my passion. There's absolutely no way that is ever going to be a bad decision. I can think of, you know, buying a designer jacket or a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes. That would not serve me. That's got nothing to do with my life. I live like in the wild mountains. 
right? <laughs> and I could get tempted by a pair of Jimmy Choo shoes, you know, let me tell you. But that would be silly money to spend. But spending thousands of dollars on training that's going to help me serve the greater good through my joy and my passion, that is never a wrong decision to make. Absolutely never. So what, who we want here are women who are warriors, who have a heart and a soul fully engaged in their life work and are connecting with other people. And we want you to go back um, to your audience and encourage them to step up and play big. And it, it's just going to ripple. It's going to ripple. And it's, um, it's time. It's, this is absolutely the time. It maybe wasn't five years ago. It is right now. I have one um, client that's coming. It's funny when you were talking about raising your prices, and um, Jill was with me in the early days. And as my prices went up, she just kept saying, "I'm going where you're going. I'm going where you're going." And um, and so she is actually she spends and invests in her business and her life, and she's um, spent a lot of time and money and energy in her family and her business lately. So she's actually going big for her in self-care. So um, that's, a, I mean, that's another area to me too. Self-care and self-love is, is in an abundance creator. So it creates abundance through the back door. Um, a lot of times we think it always has to be the front door through work, but Jill's a good example of someone who's coming, who's saying, I'm doing this, I've, I've invested in all these other places and in all these other people, and I'm coming to have a weekend to put my big heart on the canvas and to put love for myself in a big way on the, oh, I just got chills through my whole body, right? So like, yes, we want the business people, and Jill's a business person, but if, if maybe that's where you've been giving everywhere else, but you haven't been being big with your own self-love, we I welcome, I know you do too, like we welcome that too. Um, oh, huge. I just got chills talking about that because I think that really, it, it really takes guts. It's easy to say, oh, yeah, I've got this business um, justification. We, I mean, it is, and we do. And to really go out and go, you know what, I am doing this all for me. For, because I deserve, not deserve, we all deserve, that, that's just not even a question, deserve and worth, we're all innately worthy, but because she wants to put her big love for herself on the canvas and be with all these people, I love that. Well, and the bottom line is too, you, it doesn't work to be, you know, playing big or investing a lot or working really hard in one or two areas of your life and then neglect the others because right. those become weights that are holding you down. Um, yesterday, uh, I remember in the morning, you know, it was the short day and um, I had spent the whole day before doing videos for Super Soul Flow and it was a gorgeous day and I'm like, I really need to go hiking but there's also so much work I could be doing. But I'm like, I'm still going hiking. It's Sunday, it's gorgeous out. So I went hiking, I meditated, I listened to music. And I got my art journal, and holy smokes, I came out of that hike with, like, so much new inspiration and things that I've already done today. I mean, the website has already changed. I've already, like, put something on hold, stay tuned for the new launch. I mean, craziness has happened since I did that hike yesterday, mm -hmm. right? So if you know you've been kind of burning the candle at both ends or working so hard and, and your energy feels low, then the self-care and the self-love is absolutely what is next for you. And, and that, you know, it's just like a, a wheel on your car that's only inflated in part of the area. It can't move. You've got to take care of your whole self. And if what's coming up is, is that self-care and feeling replenished and inspired um, and energized, if that's what you need, then... How much fun is that? <laughs> I love um, part of this going bigger for me was built. My husband retired as a teacher, and we moved to this small town. And the the place where the retreat's going to be is going to be at my house. And Denton is a small college town. And when we ended up buying a house, we bought a house. We meant to downsize, but we bought this bigger house because I envisioned clients and entertaining clients here and being here. And um, one of the things I love about it is the, the environment and the essence. It's an old house, but the backyard. And so this is why we picked April, too, because 
all of us are coming out of winter, not just winter and all the extra snow that we've all had, but this energetic cycle of winter and we're coming into spring and new blossoming. And so one of the reasons I wanted to do it here is because the backyard is going to be blossoming and it's going to, it's going to be gorgeous weather and we're going to be able to, our studio space will be outside and we have tents and to be able to paint in the yard and, and to be in nature and that there's just a whole combination of that, to, of doing something really exquisite for ourselves, for our energy as a symbol as a talisman for, it's like business planning on canvas or life planning on canvas throughout this weekend. And that word retreat means a withdrawal from ordinary life. This isn't meant to be ordinary. And so Whitney and I are creating this extraordinary. And here's what's so fun. Like the stuff we already know, we know is going to be extraordinary, but the magic that happens in the in-between moments that you can never plan, you can never plan, <laughs> get all excited. Um, that that it's an extraordinary week for um, withdrawing from everyday life, so that when you go back to it, you're you you stand in the bigness of who you're supposed to be. And let me um, describe for you all the painting that you're going to come home with, because um, the process of the you know four days, five days at this retreat is going to be like a vision quest, okay. And in the exercises we do, and the conversations, and the art journaling, and on the canvas, you are going to have um, a language spoken to you that you may or may not have started tapping into. It's a visual, symbolic language. And in combination, in partnership with your um, expansiveness and your plans to love yourself more, to earn more money, to reach more people, you are going to be given symbols and images because they're going to resonate with you. You're going to be so attracted to them and that attraction resonant energy is your soul saying I have information for you here. You know, This is an energy that I want you to breathe in and, and bathe yourself in. And by the end the painting is going to be a very personal symbol which will probably be made up of um, multiple symbols. It will be beautiful but it will literally energetically symbolize exactly what you're stepping into, what you are consciously choosing, the vibration, the energy that you want to amplify in your life. And what I know for sure about these symbols and our goals and our visions is that when we create a symbol that all we have to do is picture it in our mind's eye and it takes us exactly to where we know we're heading, what it does is it, it's like strapping rocket boosters to your goals and your visions because the symbol itself has no baggage. It's not attached to any limiting belief. Okay, that we talk about money and business and self-care and we all have all this like flood of experiences and stories that comes along with those words. The symbols are pure energy, 100% what you want, nothing that you don't. So you're going to take this painting home, you know, you're hanging it in your office, you're hanging it in your bedroom, you're hanging it in a special place. And it is vibrating with the energy of exactly what you want. You created it. It's the language of your soul. And it is absolutely um, going to be a talisman, like, um, you know, like Allison said. It's, it's literally like a magic balm that you are going to be able to shower yourself in. And Did you say balm or bomb? <laughs> I don't know where that came from. I've never used that word before. Awesome. I just picture this like soothing, you know, it's like this, these, um, you know, Mother Earth hands, like, carry you. we can do it. You are big. You are me. Like, this is, this is not about playing small. This whole life journey is about remembering how big we are in spite of, you know, the ego and the physical limitations. And so when you tap into this and you get to know this, process of receiving information and allowing um, your life to unfold and expand, this is where the mystery and the magic get to play and you just have you know miracles happening and people crossing your path and clients and, and you know the energy of, um, of just well-being is is really really powerful. So the painting is, is a very intentional process. Um, 
that includes opening up to the mystery and following your intuition. You'll be better at following your intuition by the end of this weekend. You know, when those kind of um, random thoughts cross your mind and you think, oh yeah, i got to get back to my to-do list. <laughs> Grab that <laughs> thought. That thought is, you know, your treasure. And you learn how to discern um, these subtle forms of communication. And, and it all comes from tapping into that right hemisphere way of processing. We have a logical mind and we have an intuitive mind. I was talking to another client today and, um, and we were talking about how a lot of people don't understand why it's important to use or develop intuition. And I said it would be like coming at your life, whatever element of your life, um, with a, like a bookshelf of resources, of knowledge, of experience, of facts and figures. You know, so you have a bookshelf of things that you've read and experienced and classes you've taken. And then on the right hemisphere side, the intuitive side, you have like an entire library. Like you have the Chicago Library, the New York Library at your disposal. You have access not only to the information that you have personally researched and experienced, you have access to the information that has no end. It has nothing to do with your personal experience, but you can access it. That's what intuition is. It's not coming through the logical mind. It's coming like in a in a moment of awareness and aha, uh, and that is available to you just as much as that logical shelf. Um, and they both have value, but we haven't been taught. We haven't been taught this. Right. It's been part of our education, our upbringing, our business training, but it absolutely exists. And um, I, mean, I remember the Harvard Business Review article that said if you're not learning how to access your intuition, you're missing out on business. That was a couple years ago. So it's like, let's bring it. Let's, let's really learn how to harness this energy and create what we want. I mean, that is absolutely what is available to all of us right now. Yeah. What you want is so key, too. Like I, that was the big shift for me. So I, for a long time, I created a business that I thought I should create. And I, and I was doing well. And that's where I, I shifted. I realized I wanted to do smaller group work and more private work. And I and I I just didn't want to do I didn't want to manage people and I didn't want to have the VAs and all that stuff. I didn't want the complexity. For me, that's not fun. Other people I know it, they love it, and it's a huge challenge, and it, you know, that's their dream of having something more scalable. And it, it did. It became about what I wanted. And when I tapped into my intuition, I call her my inner whisper. So not only do I have all that information, but I also have the feel good and the encouragement. Like she's the one who gave me permission to do things differently. She gave me permission to, to do things differently. She gave me permission to be myself. And that changed everything, right? So um, I'm just excited to share these principles. I think the more that we share these practices, and, and the process, like you said, it's not outcome based, it's process. And then we realize, oh my gosh, I'm enjoying the process of this. Um, I just am excited to share it with people because then they take it back and it changes their lives and anybody they touch and, and, and you know, however, however it molds and grows from there, I just, I'm excited. And people ask me, Whitney, they keep saying, oh, I can't come to this one, I want to come to y'all's next one. But we don't have a next one plan. This, I mean, who knows? And right now, there's nothing. I mean, you've got your year booked out. I've got most of my year booked out. Um, this is, it's a once in. A, it's just, it's only going to happen once with this group of people and the way we're doing. It's only going to happen once. So, um, if your body is tingling, if your vagina is tingling, if you're, if you're a little bit scared, but you're that good kind of scared, like butterfly, not barf. Um, I really want to invite you, and if you have questions, I know Whitney will will absolutely have a phone call. I will have a phone call. Will we? If you really want to come and be, and you're you're feeling like there's a couple of obstacles, talk to us. We'll figure it out. We've got four spots left. Um, and so, but you've got to reach out. You've got to let us know. You have to like stand up and say me, right? Like there, there's a time and a space for for claiming what you want. Um, there was one other thing I was going to say. I can't remember what it is, so I guess I'm not supposed to say it. I'll just echo, and if you remember, but um, I absolutely know for sure that 
you know if you're supposed to be there. Like yeah. out and in. And um, it's resonating with you. I mean, if you're still watching this, you know, <laughs> yeah, you want to come, you want to hang out with us, you know, you want this energy, right? You want this vibration. We, we want to raise your vibration, you know, and send you back out to raise the vibration of so many others. You absolutely know if you're going to want to be there. And like what Allison just said, I love that. Like, if you know nothing else but you want to be there, you have no idea how the rest is going to happen. Like she said, raise your hand, you know, stand up, let us know, because even by doing that, you're creating your reality and you're letting the universe know, I, I want these things to happen so I can come. And who knows what's going to happen, whether it's on our end or a boon will come on your end, but you absolutely can make this happen. Um, and if you know you're supposed to be there, then, then you should come. You should try and get one of these spots if they're not taken already. And, um, and the result... When you follow your heart and take a risk and step into new territory, that absolutely creates change when you go back. You know, you can't do things differently and then things stay the same. When you do things differently, things change. So if you're ready for the change, you're tired of, you know, hanging out over here or just that one maybe thought pattern you have around your business, like let's, let's get it out, paint over it, and create what you want. So let us know. Awesome. I love it. I don't think there's, I don't have anything else to add. <laughs> you can can fly we fly into Houston, Houston, right? I'm going to fly into Houston? No, you're going to fly into Dallas. Dallas. Um, yeah, so there's two airports, either uh, Dallas Love Field or DFW are both 45 minutes from my house. Um, yeah, we've, I live within walking distance of a bunch of restaurants. It's a funky, it's like a tiny Austin, Texas. It's not near as big as Austin, but it's a little funky college town like that um, before Austin got discovered. If you come to Denton, you got to promise not to tell everybody how special it is because then it will get big like Austin. Um, I can't think of anything else right now, Whitney. I think, I mean, I'm a, you got my, my juices fired up. I'm ready to go paint. <laughs> You know, right? I've been, I've been, I was working on my personal symbol painting last night. I've got the eye of fearlessness in my lotus flower. Very powerful. Awesome. I saw an I am painting. That's the other thing, you know. Allison and I do this stuff. Like, I, I mean, I mean, painting, painting. Okay, there's the symbol painting. There's my kitchen painting. That big painting. <laughs> and all those paintings. Like, there's paintings everywhere. We do this. My my kitchen counter. There's a there's the clarity painting. You know, I mean, we're not lying about this stuff. Like we paint, and then we make money, and it's fun. I know that that one last story I wanted to tell. So I had a client. She'll let she'll let this is fully okay for me to disclose. So I took some clients. My very first time I took painting into my coaching business was a year ago, February. And I did intuitive painting, and I had a client there named Sarah, and Sarah is fluent in Spanish, and she was hilarious. She's like, I am not effing painting. I said I would because I wanted to be here, but I am not effing painting. I don't know how to paint. I can negotiate anything you need in Spanish. I will do all your business stuff, but I'm not painting. And um, one other gal that was there, so cute, she put on a wig because she was wanting to hide. She was like, well, I can't paint, but the girl who wears the wig can. And they were willing to give it a go. And what was so fun is that by the time it was done, um, both those gals loved their paintings. They loved the process of painting. Um, and then Sarah went home. She has two um, middle, middle school age, like, into, like not quite teenagers, preteen boys. And she painted with her boys, and their whole they turned their whole basement into an art studio. And then she was featured in a magazine in Mad Madison, Wisconsin, for being one of these women on the move. And she had her paintings that are hanging in her wall, like hang their art in her house now. So Miss, I don't want to paint. I don't know how to paint. Went home and used it to connect with her kids, and um, it's it's just a part of her life now. So I think it's so fun when when people think, oh, I can't do that, but you don't need any, we, 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 we'll show you, you got it, yeah, it's we'll not hold you. Trust me. Yeah. And you know, that what that um, story points out so clearly is that fear is 99.9% .9 of the time, fear is just marking the threshold of your next big up leveling, right? Yeah. So the more resistant people are to the canvas, the more I know it's going to be so powerful in their lives, but they have to understand that the fear is their friend. 
The fear is not there as a barrier or to block or to get you stuck. The fear is there to say, yeah, tune in. Like, this is good. We're going to dig in here, and I've got some treasure that you have not been noticing lately. And the fear is letting you know that you are blazing new trails and, and, and taking yourself to a higher level of, of understanding who you are. So the fear is a good thing. So absolutely, if you've never painted before, never thought you could paint, like you are my ideal person that I want to paint with. I love it. You will have a blast. Yeah, it's so fun to send somebody home and they're they're proud of the work they did and they thought they never could. And so whether it's the painting or you know the le next level of your business, I'm I'm shooting for some things that feel not possible, and yet I'm so willing to put my wants and desires out there and and start putting it into the canvas to to see what happens. And I had a I had a client who shared with me recently, remember these things that I wrote down that aren't possible and both of them are happening right now. And she literally thought they were impossible. And so uh, I love um, I love bigness in all the ways that it in all the ways that it can be. And that's what we're doing. We're inviting you guys to come and play and paint and be big with us in April. Uh, of 2015. There, Whitney, we have two, same, same sign up page. Whitney's got one on her website and I've got one. Um, and so just grab either one of us. We'll put, we'll post the link um, through Whitney's site on this video. And if you have any questions, just grab either one of us. We're both on Facebook. Um, very easy to grab or send us an email through our websites and we can't wait to see. I know that like you said, spirits already filled those last spots and I can't wait to see who they are. Yay. Anything else you want to add before we close? No, we're good. I feel complete and I want to thank you all for um, watching and spending time with us and um, for in any way you can, stepping into your bigger self just even today. Do it. Go for it. Awesome. All right, see you in Texas there, girlfriend. See you in Texas. Bring your bets. <laughs> Hi, y'all. <laughs> we are not talking like that all weekend. No. <laughs> Nobody.